So there's a lot of VR news coming out of Google I.O. 2017. Just the other day, we heard that they're working on the first batch of standalone Daydream VR headsets in partnership mostly with HTC's Vive division and Lenovo, whom they also worked with on Project Tango. Google also worked with Qualcomm on a reference design, so other manufacturers can look at what has been already done and sort of apply their own twist on the formula. We also learned about Google's updated Daydream software. It's called Daydream Euphrates, it's version two, and it brings in a lot of functionality to help you continue to get stuff done while you're in VR. So notifications, you'll have a, a panel sort of appearing in front of you to sort of interact with these phone functions that you'd normally have to pull the VR headset off and kind of dive back into the real world. That's a great step considering the value of VR is in its immersiveness and having to jump out to take care of actual real world business kind of gets annoying. For the first time, you'll also be able to use Chrome within Daydream, which again is a really nice thing because you'll be able to browse your websites, read Engadget, obviously, and generally spend more of your time within this singular virtual space. It does feel like a more cohesive virtual experience overall, which I think Daydream has been really in need of. You'll also be able to share that experience with more people because Daydream Euphrates allows for casting. So you'd be able to cast what you're seeing through your headset to an external display so people around you can sort of take part in that experience as well. Speaking of social, we got a new look at a kind of community friendly version of YouTube. You'll be able to strap on your VR headset and watch YouTube videos in sort of a watching party with other people wearing headsets. You'll see the little avatars on the bottom of the screen and sort of look around and take in your 360 degree surroundings together. It's another way to sort of share the experience of virtual reality, which so far has really been kind of isolated. You get to experience these beautiful vistas within these headsets, but it's only ever really just you. And this kind of feels like a very big step forward. Maybe the biggest VR news we've seen so far is a tool called Surat that Google developed to bring desktop level VR graphics to your smartphone. It's actually kind of a cheat code. They'll take very intricately rendered designs and take sort of snapshots from multiple different angles. They're faking this in-depth experience and bringing it down to a level where a person with a phone on their face could experience it. ILM used this tool on a scene from Rogue One as a quick demo experience and they took something that required an hour per frame to render before on a high performance computing cluster to something that took 13 milliseconds on a smartphone, which I don't need to tell you is frankly ridiculous. This could be a game changer. We're seeing the line between mobile VR and the really high end stuff blur in really interesting ways. And I think we're gonna see a lot more of that going forward too. There's one more day left here at Google I.O. 2017 and a lot of news can happen between today and tomorrow. So stick around for a whole lot more.